Nice to meet you. I'm Claire Fujihara. A beautiful silver-haired girl transferred to my class. She's pretty. Like a fairy from another world. My name is Kenta Yamamoto, and I'm 17 years old. I fell in love with that girl at first sight. She was the first girl I'd ever been in love with. Claire just transferred to Japan because of her parents' work. She can only speak a few words in Japanese, so if you want to ask her something, I'd be happy to help you do it. But this is a great opportunity for all of you to learn English, so I suggest you make the most of it. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Ah, Kenta. Uh, yes? You can speak English, can't you? Claire will sit next to you. Please try to make her comfortable here. Sure. I'm so happy. I get to make a connection with Claire. I'm nervous. On our lunch break... Claire, what you gonna do for lunch? I was gonna buy something to eat, but I forgot my wallet. Here, have this onigiri. It's a traditional Japanese food. Eat it. You're giving it to me? I made it myself. That's why the shape is a bit... weird. Okay, I'll take it. Claire looks so cool. But she must be nervous, too. That's strange. I wonder if I put too much salt in it. I couldn't tell if she was crying because it tasted good or because she didn't like it. I assume that she wasn't able to express her emotions easily because of the language barrier. After lunch, our classmates began to surround Claire. Your hair is so beautiful. Yes. Can I call you your first name? Yes. Hey, Claire, do you want to hang out with us on Sunday? Uh-uh. Japanese is so difficult. I can help you study slowly. I think you're confusing her because you're all talking to her at once. Claire was studying Japanese, but of course, she hadn't learned enough yet to understand everyone. At this school, we communicate with our classes over social media. Shall I add you to our class group chat? Okay. Most of the communication comes from our homeroom teacher, so he'll write it for you in English. Don't worry about that. Thanks. He speaks English fluently and is very kind. I'm glad he's here to help me. But I should do something about my Japanese, too. I was the only person in our class who could have a decent conversation with Claire. We didn't know each other very well, but we were going to be spending a lot of time together. Our other classmates, who didn't speak English, had a lot of trouble communicating with her. As time went on, they began keeping their distance from her. One week later... <laughs> it's been a hectic week for you, hasn't it? It must be a very difficult time for you. Yeah, it has. I know it's a little late, but do you want me to show you around the school? Sure. Feel free to ask me anything you want. Okay. Ah! Thank you. Let me just slowly push you back onto your feet. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you for saving me. Are you okay? <laughs> you scared me for a second. I'm so grateful to you. You've always been so kind to me. This change of environment has been very stressful for me, and I haven't thanked you for your help yet. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. It's normal to be nervous. I noticed that Claire was actually very nervous and shy. I had always thought she was cool and casual. It was nice to know how she truly felt, even if it took a small accident to make me realize. A few days later... Oh, I'm cold. I know it's spring, but it's chilly today. Hey, Michael, turn on the lights and heating, please. The room is brighter now, and the heating is on. How convenient. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm not used to going to school in Japan. It's exhausting. I can't wait to get better at Japanese so I can talk to my friends properly. I'm so grateful for Kenda's help. He's so kind to me. I'd like to talk to him more. A 
about everything, but I'm shy, so it's hard for me. Ah, oh, I hate my personality. I want to talk to Kenta more. I wish he'd make the first move. I wonder what he thinks of me. When I think of him, my heart gets tight and I feel nervous. Hmm, how can I get him to ask me out on a date? I know we've only just met, but he probably doesn't think of me as anything more than just a transfer student, right? But I want to go out on a date with him. Hey, Michael, I'm too embarrassed to tell him in person. I want to somehow tell him how I feel. Mm -hmm. hmm? That weekend... Kenta! Oh, C Claire! She looks great! Was I out of place to spontaneously ask you out on a date? No, it's okay. Great! Let's go then! Oh, uh, um... Claire, have you ever played a game like this one before? My brother likes to play fighting games, so I've played a few times. Oh, I see. <laughs> this is awkward. I don't know what to say. But we're here. Um, Claire, are you still a bit shy around me? What? You seem like a very cool person on the surface, and that's amazing. But I want to get to know the real you. What? He's right. If I don't show him my true feelings, our relationship is never gonna go anywhere. Anyway, I don't want to hear you make any excuses if I beat you. Ah! Uh, okay! Claire started fighting back in the game and knocked me out very quickly. <laughs> Kenta, you're a slow learner. That's the first time she's ever genuinely smiled at me. She looks even cuter when she's smiling. After that, Claire loosened up, forgot her nerves, and we had fun together in the city. Oh wow, that was fun! My feet are so tired. <laughs> You're so weak. I can tell you feel more comfortable around me now. You look beautiful when you laugh like that. Oh, it's not fair of you to compliment me out of the blue like that. Uh, oh no! What am I doing? I'm acting so corny. Why did you ask me out today? Uh, what? No. Uh, that. Uh. What's wrong? You asked me out because you like me a little bit, right? No. Uh, um. Are you hiding something from me? Come on, fess up. Actually. Huh? I sent a voice clip to the class group chat? The whole conversation was in English, so I think I was the only one who understood what you were saying. But I heard you say that you wanted to go on a date with me, and that you were too embarrassed to tell me yourself. <laughs> it made me blush. What the heck? I don't remember sending that. Your face has gone all red, but I'm the one who should be embarrassed. I was so happy when I heard it. I fell in love with you the moment I laid my eyes on you, Claire. I also like you, because you're kind and gentle. I fell in love with a beautiful silver-haired girl from a foreign country, and we were brought together by a mysterious power. It was a very happy ending for both of us. By the way, how did your voice clip get sent to the class group chat? I don't know, but... Uh... I remember I was tired that day, and I was complaining about a bunch of things to my stuffed bear, Michael. Your stuffed bear? He's my beloved stuffed bear. Also, I was setting up a virtual assistant device. When I say, hey Michael, my assistant device does whatever I tell it to do next. What? Do your stuffed animal and your virtual assistant device have the same name by any chance? Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> They shouldn't both have the same name. Did you say, hey, Michael, when you were complaining about things to your stuffed bear? What? Now that I think about it, I might have said, hey, Michael, I'm too embarrassed to tell him in person. I want to somehow tell him how I feel. 
<laughs> uh, then that's why Michael sent the voice clip to our class group chat. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're so clumsy. A few months later. So, this is our Cupid. Hey, Michael. Thank you. You haven't changed its name yet? Michael's the reason we got together. I don't want to change his name. That's true. We've been trying to get our classmates to learn a little more English, and you've been teaching them English classes after school. We all pretty much understand what you're saying now, so you should be more careful when you talk to Michael. Okay. I hope Claire can improve her Japanese and make lots more friends at school. I'd love to see her smiling face more often. <laughs>